Hi, Mark Williams here. Today I want to talk to you about the tremendous transformation in my life over the last four years. I consider it that my mind really treated me like a tyrant for the first 48 years of my life. I mean, literally, my mind ran me like a tyrant. I was depressed for decades, treatment resistant depression, no amount of therapy or medications would touch it until finally I hit rock bottom and I decided to investigate any possible way that I could change my life and to make it different from that. And I'm happy to say really over the last four years, what an amazing transformation. I have so much more joy and peace and love in my life relationships are so much better my daily experience of life so much better on this video i'd like to give you a few high level concepts techniques etc that i used to make this transformation and then in future videos i can go into more details on each one of these uh, as appropriate so the first thing to consider is awareness. You have to be aware of what's actually going on inside your head. What's going on with your thoughts? What's going on with your emotions? What is going on with the various bodily sensations? Where are you feeling stress? You see, a lot of times people go through their lives, I think the average human being honestly is asleep. They are run by their mind. They are run by automatic habits and processes. I mean, it's been said that, you know, a great percentage of the thoughts just, you know, from yesterday are just going to continue to today. And then those same thoughts are just going to run tomorrow with very little change day to day. Why is that? Well, it's because they're going on autopilot. Now, what I want to encourage you to think about is number one get aware of the voice in your head journal just notice take some time to take some deep breaths and just realize what is going on in my head right now what am i thinking about as you go through each day just note oh wow i'm really my own worst enemy in this situation or you know i, I can't believe that i'm actually thinking that you get some awareness of what's going on with your thoughts, what's going on with your emotions, where are you feeling your emotions in your body, that type of thing. I just want you to see what's going on and have some awareness. Now the second major point is when you see everything going on there, realize that that is actually not you, okay? You are not the thoughts in your head, you're not the emotions you feel, you're not the body and its sensations. That's not who you are. Fundamentally, you gotta, go, you gotta go back a level here and think in terms of I am the one who notices these things going on inside of me. I am the witness that notices the thoughts, the feelings, the, sens the bodily sensations, the outside stimuli coming in through my senses, what I'm seeing and tasting and touching and smelling, etc. So I am the one that is aware of those things. Now, if you actually make that one adjustment to your identity, to think in terms of, I am the one who witnesses the thoughts and feelings rather than I am the thoughts and feelings, that will revolutionize your life. I guarantee you, it will just make a huge positive impact on your life to notice that. Because when you're the one watching them, when you realize that I am the subject, I am the consciousness, and I am witnessing these thoughts and feelings go by within my consciousness, these are the objects, right? The objects of my consciousness passing by me. Here's a thought, here's a thought. Oh, here's a feeling. Here's, an, here's another emotion arising. Okay, here's outside stimulus. 
when I'm aware of all those things, I then realize that I give them power by the amount of attention that I place on them. So for example, thoughts going by, oh, it's really emotionally charged. And so I get involved in that thought, I expand on it, I ruminate on that one thought, and then what happens? It gets bigger and bigger and bigger, it stops, it's no longer just coming in my field of consciousness and then running its course. It's stopping, it's getting bigger, it's having more of a more and more of an influence on my life. And when we are the witness, when we are the consciousness, when we identify as that, this gives us the power to choose to engage thoughts and feelings or let them go. And I'm going to suggest that a phenomenal habit to get into is to be really vigilant with what is going on inside of you at all times. Be aware when you get disturbing emotions. Be aware of obsessive thoughts. Really take the time to be aware of these things. And as you do that, realize now that you have the power as the witness of them. You have the power to actually learn to sit back further into the seat of the self, further back into the truth of, of who and what you really are, as you learn to sit back from that perspective, perspective and watch things, not get as involved with the drama of the things that trigger you, as you're able to just watch them and let them pass, you realize that the, the triggers and the traumas and everything that's been stuffed down within you that needs to come out realize that you can actually release that stuff. Now realize that when you engage in a particular activity internally to avoid some sort of emotional pain, that, that whole thing is gonna get stored with, within you, okay? And when a similar event happens in the future that triggers it, it's gonna come out again. It's gonna come out with the same emotion, the same intensity that you stored it with. So if it was stored with pain, it's going to come out as pain. In order to get rid of that trauma, big or small, we have to let that pain come up. We have to, to face it squarely. We have to observe it. Let it come up. Let it come and go. Really actually notice that you can intensely focus on the pain as it arises and realize that your consciousness, the truth of who you are, is actually way more powerful than any trauma that comes up. I'm telling you that consciousness is the most powerful thing that you've got going on inside. No thought, no emotion, no pattern is too much to be overcome by conscious awareness, intention, Okay, you can, you can do this. You can change so many things. I'm telling you, I've released so much trauma, so much ridiculousness that I've had stored up in me. And I have gone from my own worst enemy inside to my best friend. So I want you to, to think about these few things. That's probably enough for one video. To just think in terms of, hey, let me be aware of what's going on in my mind. Oh, I'm noticing, hey, these thoughts and emotions are coming up all the time. Oh, I notice, wow, I'm really berating myself. I'm really being unkind to myself internally. And start to notice these things. As you notice them, as you observe them, as you stop identifying with them and rather identify back as the witness, looking at them, feeling them, you can now apply some new power that you didn't have before. When you're stuck in the middle of them and you're not even observing what's going on, there's no power, there's no free will, no ability to change. But the moment we are aware and we disidentify to whatever degree that we can do that, even if it's just a little bit at first, we've now started to take our power back. So let me know what you think in the comments. 
Uh, let me know if this was helpful for you, if you'd like me to expand on any of the concepts, uh, if you'd like to talk to me more about the changes I've made in my life. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Take care.